Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of House of Hell um, which is part of the fighting fantasy series on my channel uh, As we last left off, we are currently uh, choosing between uh, opening the door on the right hand wall or pressing on and for this choice, I, I would like to maybe open the door yeah, I think I will open the door. So turn to page 209. This room seems to be a dungeon of some sort. For along one wall are four cells with heavy iron bars locking their occupants in. No one seems to be on your side of the bars, so you walk in to have a look. A twig cracks as you step forward and immediately three bodies spring to life in three of the cells. They are a ragged lot, cloth in tatters, hair disheveled and grab grubby. They all reach forward through the bars and plead with you to release them. Each one has been captured by the Earl of Drama's servants and imprisoned, and imprisoned to await some horrendous fate. Nearest to you is a pretty young girl. Her face and fair hair are dirty and she is in tears. She desperately wants to be released. In the second cell is a tall man with strong features. He has accepted that he is about to die and bravely asks you to kill him now to deprive the evil Earl of his pleasure. In the third cell is a boarding man in a grey gown who says nothing. Do you wish to try to help these prisoners? You may talk to one of them if you wish. So can talk to three people. Will you like to talk to the young girl, the dark man or the balding man? Okay, so we can also choose not to talk to them. If, we, if you would rather not talk to any of them, you may leave the room and walk away. Um, we are going to talk with them actually. So in the picture here, you can see like the first one, the younger, she has both of her hands out, like asking for help. Okay, the second person is a guy with his hand out of, out like asking for something. And then the third one is a guy just at the, sitting at the corner there, just staring at you. <laughs> so, um, so we're going to think this through because we're going to ask one of them. Uh, the girl, I feel like she just got captured. So I don't think she has info. So she's out. Uh, second one, I feel like he's a bit sus. You know, like he's asking for something. He, like he's already ready to like, you know. And then the third one, he's like, he's like, you ask me, I don't, I, I just, un he's like, he doesn't really care if you ask him anything actually. So like he seems like a bit disinterested. So I feel like, first one out. Second one is too suspicious. Third one, I feel like it's the best choice lah. So we are going to go with the third one. The balding man's turn to 363. You step up to the balding man's cell. Do not waste your time in here, he says, for you cannot help us. Our only hope is that you can destroy the evil in this house before it destroys us but it, that is unlikely because you will have to destroy the master first he may only be killed with the Chris knife and the bottle may only take place in a red room to symbolize a battle taking place in hell itself the dining room upstairs has red walls but it is always locked and the key is hidden behind the mirror where ceremonies are taking place if you can find the Chris knife and the key then you may save the world from the devilry that is brewing within these walls. But as for us, we will all be dead before the night is out. Don't waste your time with us. You listen to his advice and consider whether you ought to. So we got two choices here. We can leave immediately as he suggests. Or whether you should talk to the others. Actually, this guy gave us a lot of info. So, okay, the first bit of info he put is that he said he said to destroy the master okay so I'm going to write it down 
destroy the master which can master okay so I go right here which can only be killed by Chris knife and then the second info he say that the battle can may only take place in a red room to symbolize like um, it's in hell and then he say that also the third bit info he says that key is hidden behind the mirror when ceremonies are taking place so I guess so first of all I think we okay from this info we have we definitely have to kill the destroy the master I'm assuming the master is the Earl of Drama lah because he introduced himself as such or at least the butler introduced himself as such and he can only be killed by the Chris knife and the battle must stick in a red room which uh, did they say oh they say the dining room has red walls okay I might, might want it. but it's locked and then the key is hidden behind the mirror when ceremonies are taking place so we definitely need the Chris knife and we definitely need the key. And then somehow better in the red room. Okay. Okay, so uh he also said the last bit info he say don't waste your time with us. So I'm going to do what he says and turn to page 91. Further up the passage is another door in the right hand wall. Two choices. If you wish to try this door, turn to 112. If you want to pass it and continue along the corridor, turn to 393. Mm. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I really want to try the door. But then it's like... Uh, should I try the door? Oh, I really want to try door. But I scared it's a trap. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay, let's go for the door. One, one, two. Oh. oh no. The door opens wide. You are about to step inside, but hesitate when you see what lies within. You are entering an underground torture room. In one, one corner stands a formidable Iron Maiden, its deadly door standing ajar. A stretching rack is in the center of the room. Hanging from the ceiling along the left-hand wall are two cages. One is just about large enough for a man to crouch in, and the other will allow a man to stand up but not move about. A shiver runs down your spine. Suddenly, two pairs of hands grab your wrist and you are shoved forward into the room. From behind the door steps a broad-shouldered man with powerful arms. He is dressed in a leather apron and trousers and wears a patch across his left eye. So, he exclaims, And who do we have here trespassing in our house? Come on, speak up. Have you lost your tongue? What will your answer be? Will you tell him you are trying to leave trying to find your way out and will be happy to leave straight away? Or will you claim to be one of the master's friends? I mean, for real, I think I'm going to claim to, do, to be the friend because... I mean, come on, this this house is already... <laughs> we need we need the, the uh, more advantage. Lah. I don't know what I'm saying. We need to like, at least some gain some type advantage here because if we straight away like back out I got a feeling we're going to get trapped so might as well just claim to be one of the master's friends okay so turn to page 16 a friend of the master snarls the torturer I have not seen you before and I know all the master's friends oops you tell him that you are new to this house and that is why you are wandering about lost. 
The torturer is not convinced by your story, but cannot risk harming one of the master's friends. Yes. I'll tell you what I'll do, he announces. I don't believe you, but I'll give you a chance. If you can convince me that you are one of the master's friends, I'll let you go. But first, you'll have to pass a little test. Tie our friends down, lads. The torturous assistants bundle you off to the middle of the room and tie you on the rack. Turn to 381. Well, uh. <laughs> Oops. Uh. Right then, says the torturer. Let's see if you really do know the master or not. Over here, we'll give you a letter. You tell me the first word that comes into your head, beginning with that letter. If you take your time and think too long about your answer, Dirk will tighten your the rack. Got that? Alright, let's start. Oh, okay, so... Each time the torturous assistants give you a letter, you must write down on a piece of paper the first word you can think of, which begins with that letter and relates to the house. After your test is complete, the torturer will consider your answers and then decide whether or not he believes your story. Okay, to start when you have pencil and paper ready. Okay. So, basically, he'll give me a letter and I have to write right away what uh, I think about it. So, and it has to be um, connected to the house. Okay. So, to start, turn to 38. Okay. I'm gonna get a bit comfortable here because I got a feeling I must like right away write. Turn to 38. Okay, the first letter Ovia gives you is D, drama. You must start writing right away or you will have to deduct one point for your stamina score as Dirk tightens the rack. When you are ready, turn to 352. So I put drama here. Uh, D, correct. So, hopefully I get correct. Ah, okay. Okay, so I'm going to 352 now. Next letter, Orville, shouts the torturer. Orville thinks and says A, as modious. Write down your answer straight away or lose a point in stamina, then turn to 57. Oh. Okay. Come, come, Orville, let's have another. Orville thinks again, and this time says K, Chris. Write your answer quickly or deduct once another stamina point. Turn to 333. Okay. Ovia is now getting the hang of this game and is enjoying himself. M is his next letter. M is Mamon. Oh. Does Mamon even have a? Okay, now might I write Mamon first? I mean, if 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 don't have later, then I have to deduct a stamina point lah. Now might. That's fine. I just write one one first. Write immediately or lose another stamina point, then turn to 76. I don't know if Mama have or not, it just popped into my head. Well let's let's do it first. Okay. Okay. Orville has been practicing his next letter and blurs out it blurs it out excitedly. As is his choice, Shuko. Hello Shuko. Right immediately or lose a stamina point, then turn to 315. Okay. Alright, Orville, that will do for now, says the torturer. He turns to you. Have you been convincing enough for him? Over the next five references, some of the answers that he would have been expecting are listed. Each one scores a number of points. If you choose one of the words listed, record how many points you score. 
When you have been through all five references, you will have convinced the torturer if your score is high enough. Now turn to 235. Oh, okay. Let's turn to 235. Okay. If you wrote down any of the following words, you can score the points indicated. Diabolus 3 points, Drama 5 points. Yay, we got it. So, any other choice is not worth any points. Turn to 194. So, we score that one. Okay, score the points as indicated if you wrote down any of the following words. Azazel 3 points, Abaddon 5 points, Asmodeus 3 points, Apollyon 3 points. So, we got Asmodeus 3 points. You score no points for any other choice. Now, turn to 130. Score the points indicated for any of the following choices. Kelnor, 5 points. Chris, 3 points. We got Chris, so we got 3 points. You score no points for any other choice. Now turn to 297. 297. Okay. Score the points indicated for any of the following choices. Oh, Mamon. Okay. So Mamon is 3 points. Okay. Okay, so I was correct. Mamon 3 points, Man in White 2 points, Modana 5 points. I don't know what's that. Man in Grey 2 points. You score no points for any other selection. Now turn to 141. Score the points as indicated for any of the following choices. Shuko 5 points. Yay. Shaitan 3 points. You score any points for any you score no points for any other choices now turn to 280. How many points did you score in total? Okay, so I need to calculate. Oh we actually have more than enough. So if you scored 12 points or more turn to 265. So we're going to turn right away because we did score more than 12 points. Uh, so 265. My humble apologies, Stammers the Torturer. I did not realize you were one of my master's patron. <laughs> can I make amends? Can I help you can I help direct you onwards? If you refuse his help, you may just leave the room. If you want to ask the torturer how to get back upstairs, he will give you directions. If you follow them, you will end up back on the ground floor. So actually um, I think I'm going to ask for his help to get back upstairs because do you recall there was a door that was locked? I want to go check on that door upstairs but, it's, but we need to get the key first, that's the problem now uh, Okay, let's, let's just go back up first because we did fall through the trap door to the down basement so we're going to follow them and go back to the ground floor. Turn to page 293. Okay. You open the door at the top of the stairs. Facing you is a door and to the right, to your right, the hallway ends at another door. Do you wish to enter the door opposite, the door to your right, or turn left into a main hall? Mm. Let's try the door opposite first. One, one, three. Okay, the room you enter is a reception room. A table and six chairs stand in the center of the room. At one end is an enormous mural of a country scene, perhaps painted of the area many years ago. On the opposite wall, Stretching from the floor to the ceiling is a full-length mirror. Velvet curtains line the wall opposite the door. You walk over to admire the painting, then turn to face the mirror. A shot is in store. Your eyes widen as you turn towards the mirror and stare into it. It casts no reflection of you at one field point. <sighs> Okay, so we have to add one field point. Now we got 
five fear points. You walk closer to the mirror, but still no reflection appears. Although you can see the table and the wall behind you clearly, you walk right up to it and feel its surface. Your hand passes right through the glass. Pulling it back quickly, you consider the situation. So we got three options. Will you leave this room? Step through the mirror or investigate the room further? So actually they say something about a mirror, right? Oh, I don't know if they're talking about this mirror though. Um, let's investigate the room first. We shouldn't enter the mirror yet. We should investigate the room first. So turn to 324. The underside of the table forms a closed box and this arouses your suspicions. You knock on it. It is hollow. Perhaps it is a secret compartment. You feel around underneath and sure enough, your fingers find a small catch which releases a hidden drawer. Inside this drawer is a leather box. But wait, what is that noise? You can hear footsteps outside the door. You will have to hide quickly. Okay, so we got two choices. We will grab the case and take it with you or we will leave it behind and close the drawer. Oh, this is difficult. Oh. Um. Okay, because someone is coming, right? I believe we should leave it behind because we don't want people to know that we are there. And it probably is something important. So I'm going to leave it behind and close the drawer. Turn to 100. You shut the secret compartment and nick quickly behind the curtains. Moments later, the door opens and you hear footsteps coming into the room. Two men enter in the middle of a heated discussion. Although you can hear only part of the conversation, they are talking about a ceremony which involves a human sacrifice. You swallow hard and hope that you are not likely to get involved in it, but add one fear point for the thought. Okay, that means it goes up to 6 right now. Okay, you keep motionless behind the curtains. You're sure enough the man walks up to the table. You hear a faint click and the drawer slides open. Then the man turns and leaves the room. When it is safe, you came, come out of your hiding place and check the compartment. They have taken the leather box with them. So we got two options. Will you now live through the door or through the mirror? Hmm. So we got uh, six field points now. I really... I don't know if the mirror is the same as what they say here. Because this is the reception room. The mirror that we have to find is actually the, where the ceremonies take place. Hmm. Okay, so let's let's. I I I'm worried we get trapped in the di mirror dimension. Uh. Okay. Let's 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 uh. But what if it's a parallel thing, you know? Mm. Okay, now my, uh, for now we just leave the mirror alone. Uh. So let's leave through the door. Turn to 131. You leave the room cautiously and look around in the hallway. There is no one inside. There is, uh, so there is a door to your left which you may try but turning to 211 otherwise you may turn right and follow the hallway around. Okay, let's try the door, 211. The door is locked and you will not be able to open it. You turn around and follow the hallway, turn 258. Okay. The hallway widens. You walk across to another hallway and you 
and continue in the direction you were walking until you reach two doors opposite each other. So we got the door on the right or the door on the left. Mm. Let's go to the door on the left. Okay, so turn to page 323. Oh, the door is locked. The handle and lock are part of an ornate metal plate. You have a cast iron key with you. If so, deduct the number of the key from this reference number and turn to the resulting reference to open the door. Otherwise, you must try the door opposite. And quickly, because you can hear footsteps approaching from the hallway, turn to 118. Okay, so there is a door. I'm going right here. 323 three. needs a neat cast iron key. Okay, so we need to think to 118 now. The door opens and you enter the kitchen. The room is empty and immaculate tidy with all the nice pots and pans hanging in neat rows along the walls. A double sink is set under a window next to a large cooker and fridge. A great square table stands in the center of the room. There are two doors, one leads outside and the other looks like a pantry door. A large bunch of keys lies on top of the cooker. Do you want? So we got three options. To try the back door leading outside, to try the other door, or to grab a bunch of keys on the cooker. I think the outside one is trap, right? The keys is definitely a bait. No one leaves their keys like that. Unless they're extremely careless. And I feel like after say, like say seeing like the other door needs a key, right? And suddenly there's a bunch of keys on the cooker. Uh that one's def probably a bait. I don't think it's the real the keys that we need. Mm. Let's try the other door. One, two, six. Uh, you reach for the door handle and open it wide, but the sight of that greets you makes you step back aghast. Inside the pantry, like standing motionless, is a hideous figure in tattered coats. Its face and hands are in a state of semi decay. The order of, and the order of death fills your nostrils. Your intrusion has woken it. Its eyes open and a hissing noise comes from his throat. A long tongue flashes out at you, and the creature steps forwards. Add two field points. Uh, we have reached 8. So you know what this means? We died. <laughs> we died of fright to, to a... to a gull. So what we're going to do now is we are, we are not going to end the game right away we're going to put like i already say already, if we die in this game we are still going to continue on but we are going to record the death so one death to the gull fear death fear death to the gull looks like our first death is to fright and then we're going to uh i mean we're going to reset it to zero lah, to be fair okay of course now we have one death lah. So we're going to continue. You must fight this goal. But you may grab a knife from the wall to use as a weapon. Add 3 skill points. So we already have a weapon so we're not going to add 3 skill points. Uh. We don't have that bonus. So knife. I'm going to put here knife. Uh, and you also X a weapon. Okay. So the goal has a skill of 8 and stamina of 7. Oh and then they add some more. As soon as it inflicts a second wound on you, turn to 1A6. If you manage to defeat it, turn to 29. Okay. So let's let's fight against this girl. Uh it's kinda of sad that we, we at least we died to of fright to something scary, you know. At least it's not like oh we we fell down like like on a rubble and then we got fear with fear of few points from that, you know. It, at least it makes sense I guess. Okay. Time to fight. So we have a skill of uh, 11 and a stamina of 21. Lah. So let's start with the goal first. The goal is going to roll 2 dice. 
and it got 2 2 so it's 4 4 plus 8 is 12 and then for us we got 2 4 so we got 6 plus 11 17 so yeah we beat it so his stamina now goes down to uh, 7 now goes down to 5 okay so we got to fight again this time the goal got 6 so 8 plus 6 14 and then it's our turn we got a 9 9 11 so we actually beat it so his stamina goes down to 3 and then we're going to roll again this time he rolls 4 and 5 so 9 plus 8 17 Oh, we got 4 and 1, 6, 11 plus. Oh, so we actually lost. So now, because we lost, okay, let me check. Okay, if the creature wounded you, you must... Oh, you subtract 2 points for the stamina score. No, I'm not going to test my luck. I'm going to subtract 2 points, that's fine. So we, our current stamina now goes down to 19. Okay, so this count is the first wound. Huh? Okay. And then now we're going to roll again. Oh, he got uh, double eyes. Double ones. So we definitely defeat this guy. So, okay, he goes down to one. We need to win one more time against him to defeat him. So he got four and two, which is six. Six plus eight, 14. We need to get a, at least three points. To beat him. Oh nice. We got 4 and 1. So 5. 5 plus 11 equals 16. So we definitely defeat this guy. So we're going to turn to 29. Can't believe we actually died. Fright. Uh, but that's fine at least. Yeah. Okay. As the gull slumps to the floor. It falls against a rack of pens hanging on the wall. The pens clatter to the floor and the noise is deafening. Have you been heard? Turn to 254 to find out. They are loud. Pens are loud. Pens are definitely loud. What? What? Wait, what? Okay, I'm going to read out what happened to us, okay? 254 ah. Your fears are confirmed when the door opens. The noise has attracted the attention of some mysterious friends of the Earl of Drama. Four men enter the room all dressed in white gowns and wearing goat heads to conceal their faces. They are armed with knives and lengths of wood. It will be a we will be foolish to resist them. Grabbing your wrist, they take you downstairs into the cellars. There you enter a room in which there are four prison cells. Three are already occupied, but the fourth is empty. You will be detained here at the Earl's pleasure. Your adventure has ended. So... I... I... So, this counts... This is definitely dead end. Okay. I gotta put here dead end and the kitchen. Okay, this this is what I mean by the house of hell being so difficult is because of dead ends like this. So right now we are going to try and backtrack. Okay, I think this is a good example. Where's that goal again? Wait, uh, I need to find the goal again. Oh yeah, this could take a while. Where are you? So let's. Okay, so let's try to find that place again. So after uh, checking the kitchen, right? So spoilers, um, the other is actually a true late end because whatever you choose, you will definitely die. So I decided to go back to the mirror to where we can go through the mirror because I feel like this from the mirror if we were to leave that door, we would like be in some type of situation where it always leads back to the kitchen. So we this time, we are going to go back to like 100, okay? And then they say whether you want to leave through the door or go through the mirror. We are going to go through the mirror this time. So it's 
uh, what turn to 160. But first, because we backtrack, we are going to reset everything back to before we go into the kitchen. So right now, our stamina will go back to 21 because it's the battle between the gall, right? Okay, and then uh, our fear will go back to 6 because the gall um, adds 2 fear points. But of course, the, the deaths from before will still record. Lah. Okay, go back to 6. And then we don't have the knife because we never entered the kitchen in this route. Okay, so we only have a piece of wood. Lah. However, we will still keep the info about the the key because it's like we we <laughs> how do you say ah uh? is it re regression ah uh? okay like we go through regression a bit like we backtrack <laughs> oh wait instead of maybe we instead this time right we can just go back to where we can actually choose to go and grab the case or not so on like page three hundred twenty four right. And then, I think because we go back to this part, I believe uh, we our fuel point actually goes back, goes to like 5. Because we, last time we did that, we add a fuel point. You know, the one which where we leave the case away. So we can wait just back. So our fuel point will go to 5 instead of 6 this time. Which is like extra thing lah. Okay. So next time we will grab the case instead. We will continue with grabbing the case. Then the rest of the stats are like as 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 what I stated uh, earlier lah. I feel like this is a good place to stop because it's already very uh I would say chaotic. <laughs> So that's about it. So next time, next episode, we will go through the mirror this time. We're not going to live through the door. We're going to go through the mirror and see what happens. Okay? So thank you for joining uh, us for this episode. Uh, hope to see you again in the next one. And if you haven't uh, su subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this video, do leave a like. Thank you so much and have a nice day. And also, um, happy holidays. Bye.